hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're returning welcome i know it's been literally ages since i filmed something on my channel but literally life has been so hectic and so much has been going on i've been busy with work i've been busy with life birthdays as you can imagine like summer period is always very busy but i'm back with another video today um and i'm just going to be giving you guys a little update into how i'm getting on in my asye so i'm literally almost what is the date today the 6th of july i'm almost 10 months a whole 10 months into my asye i cannot believe it it's literally come so quickly um but yeah i just want to give you guys a little update into how i'm doing how my asye is going and yeah let's get straight into this video so i guess i'll start off with currently where i'm at in my journey so at the moment i'm pretty much on track with my final report i'm on track with my asye i mean in past videos i have mentioned to you guys that the asye year is pretty much the year that you manage yourself the quicker you get things done the quicker you finish and i'm so happy that i started everything early because now i'm in a place where <laughs> i don't have a lot to do but in saying that my last thing that i do have um to do is my critical reflection um and that seems to be the thing that i'm procrastinating with the most like I don't know why but I'm just oh well, I do know why because work is busy I do have a lot to do but it just seems that I'm not able to set time aside to get it done like I'm really dragging my feet um and I have have had a meeting with my ASYE assessor and she's given me my deadline 20th of August is when literally I have to have my feedback in for my observations and I have to have my critical reflection in so that I can finish on the 7th of September and I'm so excited to finish I just kind of want this element of my journey to be done with because it's been kind of a headache having to manage work and also manage my ASYE as well um, but for anyone that's kind of in this stage or you're just starting your ASYE one thing I'm going to tell you now is online it's very hard to kind of find examples of work or get examples of reports to kind of get a feel and idea of what the final report is supposed to look like for me anyway um but my asye assessor has been so helpful in providing me a few examples of some things that's helped me along my journey so what i do plan to do at the end of my asye i'm gonna like maybe create like a google docs document or something like that that i'm gonna add in my description bar to help you guys because you are gonna need help in every journey of social work okay gonna need every element of help um as you go along just to kind of make things easier for you and to just take that pressure away because that pressure is going to be coming from work and i think that's been my recent struggle it's just like asye i'm not using my two days is it yeah two days per month like it's literally gone out of the window but actually that is time that i'm entitled to and that i do have to continuously say to myself you know what you need to use it you need to get things done no matter how busy work is because when it comes to the end i don't want to be rushing around and faffing about trying to get everything in and submitted um on time but overall i would say that my asye is going well and has gone well over the past nine to ten months currently where i'm at i felt really supported in terms of supervision i felt like i've been listened to especially like a few weeks months ago when i was experiencing getting that high caseload and it was kind of like why am i getting this caseload and i'm an asy student what is going on here but i did feel listened to um and i do feel like generally it is going well um i guess at this point for me i'm kind of thinking about what my next steps are going to be so I do finish in September. I have no current plans to leave my job right now. Like I'm settled. I do enjoy working for an IFA. I do enjoy my current role. But ideally, this is not where I want to be in like a year's time. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of share you share with you guys my next steps. I'm trying to like hold it in, especially for those who like to travel. I'll just give you a little hint there. I'm trying to like suppress it a little bit until I do give you my one year asye update um but yeah it's going well going really well so far i can't complain at all 
um, and I feel like it's at this point now where I'm really settled in my role and I'm able to just kind of get on with it but if I was to just share a few reflections of where I'm currently at I think the hardest thing for me is I've just generally felt very tired and drained like as of recent I've just been feeling extremely tired extremely drained I'm just kind of like oh I just kind of want this to be over and done with like why did I even put myself through the stress of doing the ASY year but then at the same time it's all about building your confidence it's all about preparing you for the realities of social work because the thing is you can work in one role do your ASYE go to another role and then it's like you started at square bottom but it's just about building your confidence and helping you to develop new skills which I feel that I have along the journey um, but if you guys have any questions um, feel free to DM me on Instagram or email me as you have been already um, if you're about to start your ASYE or you are doing your ASYE or you're looking for an ASYE let me just even plug you guys my agency is currently offering um, some ASYE positions in Stratford if you're interested message me on Instagram fairly quickly and I can hook you up but yeah I just wanted to come and give you guys a little update to let you know where I'm at and let you know that I'm still here I'm still present <laughs> but life is just super hectic at the moment um and in my last video i did speak as well about offering some interview tips it's been so hard like getting and gathering social workers together to kind of do that video but literally in the next few days i can't do it then i'm just gonna have to make a video solo to offer you some tips but continue to like comment and subscribe for more information follow me on my journey continue supporting me and i'll see you in my next one bye